Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering story classes in C and also I will explain scope and lifetime of a variable in C. Guys, I have uploaded complete PPS subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain scope of variable. Very defined variable can have its existence and beyond that, we cannot access that variable. That means, for example, if we define any variable, like I'm defining variable as int a equal to 10. This a is my variable. And I declared this variable inside main function. Inside main function, I declared variable name as a. Scope is nothing but existence of a variable. For example, here I written int a and I written this inside main function. So, this variable a existence is only inside main function. And I cannot access this variable a outside the main function. So, where a defined variable, this defined variable is a. Where a defined variable can have its existence and beyond that we cannot access that variable. So, I cannot access this variable a outside the main function because this existence is present only inside main function. This is meaning of scope of variable. In C programming, we can declare variables in two places. One is inside the function and another one is outside the function. For example, variables which are declared inside the function is known as local variable and variables which are declared outside the function is known as global variable. I will give example of local variable. At first you need to write hash include hdavo.h after that void main. This is main function which I am taking. Inside main function I am declaring variable that is int a equal to 10. I given variable name as a and value as 10 data type as int. Now I want to print value 10. So for that purpose we need to use printf. This a is integer. So you need to take here percentage d comma a. So by writing this code I will get output as 10. So this a is local variable because we declared this a inside main function. So we call it as local variable. Now I will explain program for global variable. Same program which I written before. At first I written hash include hdao.h. After that I written int a equal to 10. Here I am declaring variable outside the function. So we call this a as global variable. After that you need to write void main. Inside void main you need to write printf percentage d comma a. By writing this program you will get output as 10. Here we declared variable inside main function. So we call this variable a as local variable and whereas here we declared variable a outside the main function. So we call this a as global variable. Here variable existence is only inside the function that is only inside this block and whereas here variable existence is present until entire program. Lifetime of a variable is a time for which particular variable is present in our memory. How much time particular variable is present in our memory? This is known as lifetime of a variable. We can store variable either in main memory or in CPU register. These are two storage locations in order to store particular variable. Scope and lifetime of a variable is specified by storage classes. Storage classes are used to specify where to store the variable. That is either we need to store variable in main memory or in CPU register and storage classes are used to specify scope and lifetime of a variable. Storage classes are classified into four types. One is auto and next one is static and next one is extend and last one is register. These are four storage classes that we need to use. Guys, you need to remember this table. First one is auto. Here I written auto int a equal to 10. Whenever you declare like this, then this variable a is stored in main memory and the scope is within the block. That means I can access this variable only within this block. I cannot access this variable outside the block and lifetime of a variable is until end of block. That means this variable will expire whenever I close this block. In place of auto if you use static then this variable a is stored in main memory and scope is within this block. That means we cannot access this variable outside the block and lifetime is till end of the program. That means variable is present whenever we declare this variable and until end of the program this variable will be present so this lifetime is until end of the program and next one is register in place of static if you declare register then this variable a is stored in cpu register and scope is within this block that means i can access this variable a only within this block and lifetime is until end of the block that means from starting variable declaration to until end of this block this variable will be present next one is extend if you use extend then Variable is stored in main memory and scope of variable is global multiple files. Whereas in auto static and register scope is only within the block that means we can access this variable only inside this block and we cannot access this variable outside the block. But whereas in extend 
scope is global multiple files that mean we can access this variable even outside the block and lifetime is till the end of the program now i will explain program guys this is program for auto here i written hash include hdo.h after that i written void main and here i declared auto into a equal to 10 whenever you declare like this this variable a is stored in main memory and here i written printf percentage d comma a Whenever you write like this, you will get output as 3 because value of A is 3. So I will get output as 3. For example, if you want to use static, then just in place of auto, you need to declare static. And if you want to use register, then just you need to write here register in place of auto. So whenever you write register into A equal to 3, then this variable A is stored in CPU register. Next, this is program for extend. If you want to use extend storage class, the name itself says extend mean we need to declare variable outside the main function. So if you want to use extend storage class then you need to declare variable outside the main functions so here i written hash include hdo.h after that i written extend into a equal to 1 after that i written void main and inside void main i written printf percentage d comma a where auto static and register are declared inside main function but if you want to use extend storage class then you need to declare this extend storage class outside the main function so i written here extend into a equal to 10 and inside main function i written printf percentage d comma a. Whenever I write like this, I will get output as 1 because value of A is 1.